Are these pumpkin carving tools any good? I'm going to try them out and show you how to carve three amazing pumpkins. And stick around until the end where I'll be testing out some really cool LED lights. I bought this pack online and when they arrived I opened up the wallet and they came packaged like this. So let's open them up and see what we've got. There's a couple of different saws which we can use for cutting out the top and for carving. This serrated scraper spoon to scoop out the seeds and the innards. This curved gouge to help us with carving and hole cutting. And this spiked poker which will help to remove bits and push through holes. And if we take a look at what's in this pack, you can see it's more of the fine detailed carving tools. There's a good selection, some smaller ones and larger, different pokers and scrapers, various fine cutting tools, and this nice little hand drill. They do fit nicely into the wallet and display well, so you can easily find what you're looking for. So let's try them out. This kit also came with some pre-printed pumpkin designs on these papers, and if you like, you can transfer them onto your pumpkin to help with inspiration. But I'm going to try doing something a little bit more complicated. I'm starting with this nice large pumpkin, and I'm going to use this saw to cut off the top. It pushes in easily, and with a nice sawing action, it's cutting through really well. It's definitely nice and controllable, and it's pretty easy to use. I'd say it's a lot safer than using a knife. And what I really like is, although it's sharp enough to cut through the pumpkin, it's blunt enough not to cut yourself on, so it's pretty safe to use. So you can now remove the lid and use your saw to cut off the mess. Next, I'm going to use the scraper spoon to scoop out the insides. I found it's a really good length, it fits inside well, and it's a good size scoop. I'm cleaning out as much of the seed and stringy stuff as I can, and I found the serrated edge of the scoop is really good if you need to thin out the side wall. And when it's cleaned out, it's ready to carve. For this one, I'm going to try something a bit different. I'm using this hand peeler to peel off a load of pumpkin skin like this. And I'm going to be using our new tools to try carving in a face. I used this scraper to draw on a rough layout. Then I started using our tools to remove pumpkin flesh and bring the design to life. Initially, we need to remove quite a lot of the flesh, so I'm starting with the bigger carving tools. I'm carving out definition for the eyes and the nose. It's actually an easier process than you might think, and it's really fun to do. The mouth takes a little bit of thinking about, but I started carving away, and I had to peel off a little bit more of the pumpkin skin. I removed a bit more material, then started carving in individual teeth. These fine tools make it really easy to do, and it's really starting to look quite good. I put a little definition in around the cheeks, and now I'm going to work more on the eyes. I removed a load more pumpkin flesh, then started carving them in with more detail, one side and the other. Next, I started working around the edge of the face a bit more to give it some more definition. Then I added some finer details, some wrinkles and lines, and it's looking great. Next, I'm using a little black acrylic paint to paint in some pupils in the eyes. And there's our finished pumpkin. Pretty cool, huh? There's some nice little detail, and using these carving tools really was great fun. It's definitely something you could try at home. The first pumpkin I made on this channel was this flaming pumpkin, and it's been my channel logo ever since. My latest merch is this Halloween mug with the flaming pumpkin on one side, and pretty cool her on the other. There's a link in the description if you want to buy one. I've also got other merch, and there's a 20% discount if you're a channel member. For the next pumpkin, I'm cutting off the top again, using the saw, and scooping out the innards. Then I'm using a marker pen to draw a design on for the face. This mouth's going to have some exposed teeth, so I'm drawing those in roughly, and a small nose. The first thing I'm doing for this one is cutting off the flesh in front of the eyeballs. Then I'm using the smaller saw to cut out the hole around them, like this. Then I cut out the nose, and the mouth too, up to the teeth line. Next I'm using one of the carving tools to remove the skin in front of the teeth. And we can now use the smaller saw to cut out individual teeth, like this. This really helps to give them definition, and it's looking really cool. I worked my way all across the top, and then I did the bottom ones too. Next I'm using this gouge to shape the eyeball a little, and make it into a nice sphere. I'm also opening up the hole a little more. I did the same on the other side. And finally, I'm going to use this small drill to make a hole straight through the middle. Once it had gone through, I used it a bit like a saw to open up the hole a little bit bigger. 
I've cleaned it all up. And there we go. There's our second really cool pumpkin. If you're going to make something like this, you can get really creative with the shape of the mouth and maybe try making long teeth or fangs. It's a really cool design and not too difficult to make. And make sure you stick around to the end where we'll be looking at different ways to light it up. For the next pumpkin, I'm turning it onto the side so we can use the stem for a nose. And I'm also going to incorporate some of these lines as features too. But first, I'm going to cut a hole here at the back and use our tools again to clean it all out. For this one, I'm going to draw the eyes in between the pumpkin's natural feature lines. One in here, and one here. And I'll draw the mouth in between another couple of the lines here. This time, I think we'll draw in some large fangs like this. So I started by using my carving tools to remove the skin for both eyes. So it looks like this. Then I'm using my small saw to cut out the mouth. If you've got large fangs like mine which stick out past the mouth, make sure you don't cut those. I'm using this little poker to help remove these bits. Then I opened it out a little more and started removing the skin from the fangs. And they're looking great! I painted in some eyes again with the acrylic paint. And there it is! It looks really cool! And the natural lines on the pumpkin really add character. It's great fun and easy enough to try and he goes really well with the others. The three of them look great together. But what about lights? Traditionally to light up a pumpkin we use a little tea light candle like this. But today I'm going to try out these LED pumpkin lights instead. I got a pack of two and they look pretty nice. These take three AAA batteries. Then you just press them to turn them on. It's a bright white light. And this one sort of flickers to simulate a candle. The yellow one actually gives off a yellowy orange light to make it even more candle-like. I'm dropping it in this pumpkin and dimming the lights. And there we go. It's a great effect. I put the green one in here and dim the lights. Ah, oh, that's brilliant. Check out the teeth. But the next lights I'm trying are these coloured LED lights. This box came with six double-sided sticky pads in case you want to fix them somewhere and a couple of remote controls too to operate them. They take three AA batteries and you can operate them just by pressing it or by using the remote control. There's a whole range of different colours and programmes and you can even adjust the brightness. So I'm trying them in the pumpkins. I really like just being able to turn them on and off with a remote control. Changing the brightness can be useful too, and it's great to play around with the different colours. If you'd like to see how to make some more really cool pumpkins, you can take a look at my other video. There's a link in the description. Have fun, stay safe, and as always, thanks for watching.